Good morning, grade eights. Today is Monday, June the 8th, and um, I wanted to have a quick discussion with you before we get into the math. So the, on Friday and over the weekend, I have been working towards getting the report cards going um, and looking at the math, it looks like you're gonna have a mark for data management. This is what we did um, at the end of January. I didn't put it towards the first term report card, so it'll be going towards your second term. You will have a, a really good, um, lots of marks put into it, um, number sense enumeration mark. You will also have a measure, measurement mark. I was never really planning to give you a geometry mark because I have to report for a term, um, but algebra is a bit of an issue. So originally the plan was to do algebra a second time and give you a second mark for that, but uh, we've run out of time. So. Um, I was talking to Mr. St. John, and he has also run out of time with his class. He is planning to put an I for all of his kids and just say there was insufficient time to cover this strand because we were with the school closures. Um, and I have already put in an I for uh, that algebra as well to give you guys all a no mark for that subject, but it bothers me. I don't wanna do that. I wanna give you a proper mark. So we, my plan is we're gonna start algebra right now and we are gonna pound through algebra hard and fast. And I am gonna collect a couple of marks from you between now and Friday. Uh, report cards are due on Friday, but I'm going to request an extension from Mr. Uh, Rodman so that I can get the algebra marks in because I, I don't wanna put an I there. I wanna give you a proper mark, okay? So we are gonna get started on algebra right now. I'm gonna flip over and we will begin. Okay, so this is a question from your most recent test on Thursday. Uh, by the way, the tests are all marked. Your um, tests have been returned to you. They are in your measurement section of your OneNote binder. And um, the answer key, the fully completed answer test, is um, it's there for you in the class measurement section. So if you want to compare your work um, with mine to see where you went wrong and why you did not do, have a great mark, you can, um, you can go there and look and see. This is one of the questions. Now, this is actually an algebra question. So I was, um, I was hoping that you guys would look at this question and realize that it was an algebra question and do some of the algebra that we had learned in term one. Apply that algebra to this question in order to solve it. Um, very, very few of you actually did this. I think one person. Everybody else threw a formula on the page that I had never taught which tells me that you just went on the internet and you just type, how do I do this? And the internet spit out an equation at you that you just copied and then used to solve. Um, I was disappointed because although it led you to the right answer, you were not showing um, your, your algebra skills. And I, I know that I taught it to you. So we are gonna do this question together. I'm going to t teach it to you and we're gonna talk through the algebra of this question. Um, because using the formulas that I've taught you for measurement and using the skills that I've taught you in algebra, you can do this question. So it tells you the circumference is 11.8. So we know the formula for circumference. It is circumference equals two pi r. And it is telling you that the circumference is 11.8. So where it says 11.8, you're gonna stick it where the C is. So you've got 11.8 is the C. Now, we can also substitute in pi because we know what that is. So it's two multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by R, okay? There's only one variable here. If you can use algebra to get R alone, you now know what R is. Once you know what R is, you can use R to find the area. You don't need any funny equations that you went on the internet to search for. You have everything that you need here. So let's continue to do this. So the next line is gonna be 11.8 is equal to 6.28 R. Okay, that's two times 3.14 gives me the 6.28. Now I can divide both sides by 6.28. When I do that, 6.28 divided by 6.28 is worth one. One multiplied by R is just R. So R is alone now, okay? When I do up this division, I get my answer of 1.8789. And 
and that is R. Now that I know what R is, I can take my area formula. I can go area equals pi r squared. And I can now substitute 3.14 for pi. I can substitute for r 1.8789 squared. And I can continue to do this math. So it's going to be 3.14 times 1.8789 times 1.8789. 8789 is going to be worth 3.53. And I do this multiplication, that's going to give me 11.08. And that is my answer. Okay? We know this formula. We know this formula. We know how to find the answer to these variables. This part is algebra. I was really, really hoping to see it. So today, your work is going to be a bunch of these questions. I'm just going to type them out for you. There's no proper worksheet. I'm just going to make a bunch of questions where I say, the circumference is, find the area. Or I say, the area is, find the circumference. You need to be able to isolate those variables using the algebra that you already know from the beginning, from last term, okay? So let's say, for example, um, you know the area, but you don't know the circumference. Well, you need to be able to figure out what r is, okay? And you're eventually going to find out what r square is, and then you've got to be able to do the square root of both sides. We've done that this term as well. So let's just flip this over here. Let's say, um, let's go with, let's pick an easy number because I don't have a calculator handy. Let's go 16 equals r squared. So we need to be able to figure out what r is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, the square root of 16 is going to be the square root of r squared. That's going to give me r. Square root of 16 is 4. Okay? And there is a button on your, on your uh, calculator that you can do. It looks like this. The square, root, the square root picture. Okay? In order to find out that, that square root of that. Okay? So your work today is to practice doing your math the proper way. I encourage you to take a look at the answer key because so many of you searched the internet and found random formulas and used that to find the answers. You weren't wrong and I gave you credit. But I really wanted you to be able to get to the correct answer using the proper algebra and that's what we're gonna work on tonight, okay? So we wanna find the way to get to there. All right, everybody, have a great day.